Hi. Let's learn about do from accounts. A do from account is an asset account in the general ledger used to track money owed to a company that is currently being held at another firm. For example, if you have lent money to a friend and you are keeping track of that amount, that would be a do from account. It is typically used in conjunction with a do to account, which tracks obligations that are owed to another entity. A due from account falls into the category of debit accounts, and it holds assets in another firm's account that can be considered as receivables by the company. It is important to note that due from accounts track assets owed to a company and are not used for tracking any liabilities or obligations. This could include funds from customer deposits, among other transactions. In international business, a due from account can be referred to as a Nostro account. Nostro accounts typically hold deposits made by customers in one country before being transferred to the primary due from account held by the business in their home country. These accounts are used to facilitate foreign exchange and trade transactions, and they often hold funds in the currency native to the account's location. While the due from account tracks money owed to the company, the due to account is used to track obligations that are owed to another entity. The focus of due from accounts is on incoming assets, also known as receivables, while the focus of due to accounts is on outgoing assets, also called payables. Both accounts should never have a negative balance and can be zero at any given time. The primary reason for separating the incoming and outgoing funds into due from and due to accounts is for ease of accounting. This allows for a simplified paper trail, particularly in the event of an audit. Separating the funds also helps in tax charges and accounting for scheduled disbursements, transfers, and payments. Nostro accounts are a type of due from account that are used to facilitate foreign exchange and trade transactions. Here are seven key takeaways. 1. A due from account is a debit account that indicates the number of deposits currently held at another company. 2. A due from account tracks assets owed to a company and is not used for the tracking of any liabilities or obligations. 3. The due from account is typically used in conjunction with a due to account. 4. Due from accounts focus on incoming assets, also known as receivables, while the due to accounts focus on outgoing assets, also called payables. 5. Due from accounts are used to separate incoming and outgoing funds, making accounting easier, particularly for audits. 6. Nostro accounts are a type of due from account that are used to facilitate foreign exchange and trade transactions. 7. Due from accounts and due to accounts should never be negative, which would signify bad data. Both accounts can, however, be zero. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.